It usually takes me several weeks of work to make a snake walking stick. This time I'm going to show you how far I get in the first week of carving. When I start a new uh, snake stick project, after I rough out the shape of the snake, the first thing I'm really concerned about is the size diameter of the shaft. And so I spend most of my time at the beginning just working out the round shape of the shaft, getting it the right diameter all the way down. And what I use to do that is these saber-tooth burrs. They really remove wood quick. In this video, I'm going to show you all the different saber-tooth burrs that I use to shape the snake and the shaft, get it ready for details. first burr I use when I'm roughing out the snake is this half inch saber tooth. It's called the whisper grit because it's got the finest little teeth on there that saber tooth makes. And it does a smoother job than most of them, but it leaves these little scratches in the wood. So you have to leave yourself enough room to sand them away. I like the shape of this. It's got that flat edge there, and it's a pretty large diameter, so I can run it right alongside the shaft to straighten out the sides of my of my snake. So I like to run this big burr at about 18,000 RPM. Sometimes I go around 20,000, but that seems to be all I need for this one. I'm not in a big race to get it done, you know, that quick. I just want a good job of it. I always pull the burr toward me. Gives me a lot of control. Also, see how I, I put my little finger down to brace myself. And that gives me a lot of control. You know, even if my hands were naturally shaky, it still gives me control when I put that finger down. You look funny. <laughs> If you haven't gotten yourself a jaw horse yet, you really should get one there off of handy. This one is not a saber tooth burr, but it's a really nice one. It's a Dremel 542 uh, shaping wheel and cutting wheel. 
and it works really good to get underneath these areas here where I'm starting to shape the belly of the snake against the shaft and what I'm doing is still focusing my attention on keeping the shaft diameter right all the way through and then I work on the snake so first the shaft then the snake and everything should come out pretty good after that snake along the shaft I use uh, these other saber tooth burrs that there's medium grit and then I've got a, a heavier grit the green colored one and then I got that real fine grit the white one and those will all help me get that all cleaned up under there and shape the underside of the neck gotten used to the cold weather yet. She doesn't have her little coat on. She'd rather be in there by the fire. So just a couple of saber tooth burrs and a shaping wheel and I did use this uh, this saw down there on the, the end of the stick. I've been able to make the snake pretty well shaped. I also used a, a rasp some, you know, to get the smooth out the shape. 
Well, I hope that uh, it's been helpful to see how these burrs can be used to, to rough out your project, get it to a point to where you can start putting details on it. Uh, they really do save a lot of time. Um, I wanted to thank all of you for purchasing the book and leaving great reviews and uh, that's been amazing to me see how many people are enjoying the book and making their own snake sticks uh, and also the pictures that you've sent me of uh, the projects you've made you've done wonderful work I'm, I'm really proud of y'all uh, also the the video tutorial on my website that uh, that you guys have purchased I hope they're really helpful and uh, I just hope you all keep on carving and uh, enjoy what you do. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you on the next one.